Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Ooh, yeah. Always cheerful music underlining this human misery. Alright guys, so welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're gonna react to Sweet Simple Vegan with their video What a Vegan Guy Eats in a Day, aka Lots of Sandwiches. Lately we had a lack of male vegans to react to. Actually, that's a good thing. So I'm very interested to see what this sweet, simple vegan guy eats. Let's have a look. Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Hello. video. My name's Chris, and I'm about to show you everything I eat in a day as a vegan. World's best boss. Always the same crappy music, man. So if you saw our past two videos, you saw right. Jasmine's What I Eat in a Day. So this will be my version of that. And then the video before that, we filmed a little bit of a grocery haul where... Um, the guy is extremely puffy. It would be good to reduce carbs. We picked up some ingredients that I'm gonna be using to make the recipes in this video. So we'll be filming this uh, a little bit different, but in a similar style to how Jasmine filmed her What I Eat in a Day. And if you haven't seen that- Okay, one, let's get to it. Link. But basically I'm gonna be doing a voiceover um, and filming it as I watch. And basically I'll just be explaining everything. Man, why don't you just show the video? Why do you have to explain so much? I ate. So I started my day with a cup of coffee as I do every yeah, morning, do. just about. This is one of my favorite. Coffee is a toxic bean soup. It secretes stress hormones like adrenaline within your body. Especially as a vegan, you don't wanna do that because you get even more detached from your true cravings. Mugs. Shout out to Caitlin from From My Bowl. It was a birthday present a few years ago and still in the regular mug rotation. And I'm adding some oat milk to my coffee this morning. I usually use a soy creamer, but we don't have any. It's just so pure phytates. That will do. That will do. So for breakfast, I'm gonna be making a breakfast sandwich. As you may know, if you follow me on Instagram or if you've seen any of our videos before. Well, so of course he uses something that resembles butter. We have to assume that it is vegan and therefore polyunsaturated fats. Sandwiches. Plant oils. So basically, I'm just taking some vegan butter, I'm melting it down. Yeah. And then I'm using oyster mushrooms to make a bacon of sorts, like a <laughs> mushroom bacon. I use some smoked paprika. It's so ridiculous. So you wake up in the morning. First thing you have to do is drink a coffee to keep your eyes open. Then you still have meat cravings. And instead of eating your bacon, you're eating mushrooms fried in vegetable oils. Vegan logic. And then some coconut vinegar to add some flavor. And then I'm just gonna mix this around. And Why would you have to cook. add flavor if mushrooms taste so good? Down a bit. You want the, don't get it the mushrooms to be nice and golden. You can also use shiitake mushrooms, but I really like the texture of oyster mushrooms. Uh, I added some liquid smoke there as well, and I'm just gonna continue to let this cook down a bit. I'm adding some salt and pepper as well. Uh, I feel like salt and pepper go in just about everything. There is absolutely no nutritional value at all in those mushrooms. I'm sure you know that. Just check the macros, check the micros. They're pretty much zero. I personally do not eat pork, but if you would eat bacon, at least you would get saturated fats and proteins. So once it looks nice and golden, I'm actually just going to press it down with a cast iron press. This is totally optional, but I like the crispiness that it, uh, it achieves when I use the press. And then after a few minutes, you want I just meat. flip it over and then um, I'm going to let it press again. This and sad. then that's it. It's cooked. This is such... I like the press, by the way. It would be a great tool to make steaks. A fun recipe. It's full flavor. Yeah. And I'll link it down below. We actually do it on an MLTA sandwich um, in its original format, but I thought it would be good on this uh, sandwich. And then Get I'm it? just using just <laughs> egg to make the... Um, egg part portion of this. Oh, if you don't want to wow, use just egg, you man. have like a tofu benedict recipe that has a really good tofu <laughs> egg. So I'll link that. Okay, bro, as I said, you wake up, you have your coffee, then you create bacon, and now you try to recreate eggs. Are you noticing something? Down below also. Sweet vegan. But sorry if you have trypophobia. Sweet vegan the boy. Of the way this cooks down wow. could be a little uncomfortable for some people. But I'm really amazed what? with how just egg cooks. The texture is spot on to uh, how eggs are, in my opinion. 
the, the cool thing about eggs is that they have bioavailable protein and you have a bunch of fat soluble vitamins in the egg yolk and thank god most people still eat eggs runny like that the fat soluble vitamins stay intact it is not about taste pleasure it is about nutrition so it doesn't matter that this resembles scrambled eggs flavor can be a little bit bland so you do have to season it but i found that it's perfect on sandwiches so oh. i really like to enjoy just egg on sandwiches this just as opposed to eating it on its own although i will eat it on its own but and why wouldn't you eat point. eggs so i'm just letting this cook down why? Uh, it takes maybe about five minutes to cook completely, and then once it's nice and fluffy, you can just remove it from the pan. Pretty simple. And then I left this part in because I thought it was funny and kind of satisfying the way it all peeled off, all the burntness from the cast iron. Anyway, now to assemble up, our bro? sandwich. What's up? I'm using um, some Dave's Killer Bread English muffins. And I just put yeah, some Dave's Killer Bread that you burn to the ground, and therefore it is carcinogenic. Vegan mayo, the just it egg is. that we cooked up. And then the mushroom bacon that we made. I guess it's not technically a bacon, but I don't know. That oh, looks like mashed potatoes, not like eggs. Um, but they're just like grilled. And if you look into the ingredients of Just Egg, you will see that it is a bean paste. Oyster yeah. mushrooms. And then I have some lettuce from our garden and some tomato. And there you go. Simple sandwich, but super full of flavor and really, really good. Yeah, really, really good. All right, so moving on to lunch. You have absolutely no bioavailable protein in there. Okay, granted, let's say the isolated pea protein extract within that slop will give you some nourishment. But other than that, you just have gluten, lectins, more anti-nutrients. I'm having a grilled vegetable panini. I got a panini press recently from Jasmine's mom. We were in LA and... Uh, she ha they have one there, the same exact one. Your face is so estrogenic, you can clearly see that you disrupted your hormones. Really liked it. So as a late birthday present, she was nice enough to get me one. So shout out to Sweet Simple Mom. Uh, this panini press is awesome. Being so estrogenic like the guy, by the way, can be a good thing as well. Because if you have higher estrogen, it can maintain very, very thick hair. Bold Bobby Jealous! I really liked it. So as a late birthday present, she was nice enough to get me one. So shout out to Sweet Simple Mom. Uh, this panini press is awesome. So basically I just have some mandolin sliced zucchini and eggplant. I'm just drizzling okay. some olive oil over and then using a brush to distribute it evenly. Um, the, the this olive is oil so is optional, time intensive. It has a nice flavor For and what? helps get the veggies nice and grilled and crispy so i'll let that cook for a few minutes till the, you start to see some grill marks on the bottom okay. i just have to like flip and check and then i'm adding some this man is really so desperate that he is grilling vegetables italian seasoning so Whoa. this is just a quick way to add some additional flavor and once the grill marks start to appear we're going to give it a flip and we'll do the same thing on the other side. And then we're just gonna drizzle a little bit more olive oil. What's Again, the point? optional, but recommended uh, in terms of flavor and texture. The only reason why you're drenching that stuff in vegetable oil is because it will replicate the fatty structure, the fatty taste of meat. You want meat. Uh, and then just brushing it and then adding some more Italian seasoning on the flip side. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of salt and pepper here too, <laughs> as I mentioned earlier, salt and pepper. What are you doing, man? Everything, what is this? At least for me. So after another few minutes, we're going to remove these from the grill and then it is time to make our sandwich. So I'm using a- Who does that on a daily basis? You can use any type of bread that you want, but I found when making a panini, if you want bread that's a little bit heartier, so like a thick cut sourdough would be good. Okay, so you're just eating bread the whole day. Um, any type of hoagie roll, just so it stays wow. together when it's pressed down. So I just cut it in half here, and I'm using this tomato basil pesto uh, that we found at the store. And Whatever. It happens to be vegan, and okay. it is so good. So if you ever see it where you are at your local market, definitely pick it up. I'm just gonna give a nice generous coating on each side. It, I'm really again, getting epiphanies so so watching now this. Right now, I just see an absolutely starved, mentally ill person that tries to replicate animal foods with all his might. It is so perverted that he actually films this obsession. He's laying over the vegetables, just stacking them up. And wow. then I'm adding some of these deli sliced roasted bell peppers. You these want really deli slices. It's really good just to have in a pinch. I just keep a jar in the fridge. And then I add them on sandwiches. It has a nice pop of color and... and it's just a gluten blob with vegetables. You get it? A nice pop of flavor as well. 
How will this sustain you? Do you have those or you see them at the store? They're always good to have on hand. And then lastly, I'm going to add some uh, vegan there we go. mozzarella cheese from Miyoko's. I absolutely love this stuff, whether it's eaten on its own or on a sandwich. I can't get enough of it. <laughs> yeah. Always cheerful music underlining this human misery. You want eggs. You want bacon. You want cheese. Why don't you listen to your buddy, man? The smoky flavor is perfect. Yeah, Just perfect. thinly sliced it. And now I'm closing it up and I'm going to pop it back onto the panini grill. So you want to be a little bit careful here. What I noticed the first few times I used the panini press, you have to just make sure that the top stays on when you press it down so you'll get the hang of it um, yeah if you okay do it, thanks press, bro you probably already have gotten the hang of it we're just gonna press it for a few minutes this meal has a zero nutritional value it's on each side honestly and we are even if you would ask vegans i would really love to hear what they have to say what is the nutritional value of this already to health serve. conscious gotta get vegans. that cross-section shot first nothing it is a absolute beauty and the taste is even better and now we are moving on. How does this look beautiful? On to dinner. We're going to be turning this baguette into... <laughs> this guy just pizza. eats bread. So we're going to be making four different <laughs> types of pizza wow, on man. each of the different slices. <laughs> the thinner the bread, oh, the nice amazing. crispy, so I recommend that. So basically, we're just going to cut it in half first. Uh, and you don't see anything wrong with this, right? Uh, and then again, down the middle, long ways. So when he drops out of veganism, vegans will say he did it wrong. Four slices total. Wow. Uh, and I realized... I ate bread for every meal this yeah. day, and I guess that's kind of common. I've been trying to limit it, I guess, a little bit, um, just because <laughs> I, I eat so much bread. He tried to limit it by eating bread for every single dish. And then I, I love <laughs> bread so much. Yeah, I see. Um, but on this day, bread all day, and I loved every second of it. <laughs> so once we have our slices laid out, oh, we're man. decorating poor, poor our pizzas. Or just topping them. I don't know if decorating is the right word. So we have some pizza sauce Decorator. here. If you don't have pizza sauce, you can also use marinara sauce. Just sometimes a little bit. Where's the fake cheese? Or, um, Where's the fake meat? Watery. Let's go. We're Come just on. gonna top each slice of bread with the marinara sauce or pizza sauce. This man must have so much inflammation within his body. It must be ridiculous. As much or as little as you wow. like. I do like a lot of sauce on mine, and then the bread will absorb it a little bit. So keep that in mind. Healthy. Now we're just going to top it with some vegan cheese. There it is. I'm using follow your heart mozzarella shreds. I really like those. Yeah, follow your heart. Don't follow your instinct. Ultimately, instead of eating real dairy, which would provide you calcium, K2, D3, you're eating vegetable oils with no vitamins. These taste and melt good. up in the oven. So I recommend these or Via Life's really good too. Miyoko also has shreds now. So whatever <laughs> vegan cheese you choose, you really can't go wrong nowadays. How about so you choose all real four cheese? slices are topped we are going to add the additional toppings now so for our first pizza i'm going to be adding some minced garlic but man what are you doing are you at home all day just making sandwiches is this your life i really love garlic and fresh wow. garlic is always great to add this was actually in a jar so it's not technically fresh but um it's really easy to add to pizza as opposed to dicing garlic wow. yourself which would taste great on this also. Uh, I'm just adding some Kalamata olives here. I'm a big olive fan, Jasmine isn't, so um, if you like olives, definitely add it. I then I'm olives. adding some diced vegan ham here. I was trying to find pepperoni at the store. Uh, vegan pepperoni, of course. So this guy just craves pork. Of course. That's what it is. kind of hard to find, um, so I just used diced ham instead. And then for the third one here, I'm just adding some peppers. These are similar to the deli style peppers, but a little bit thicker. And then the last one I just left plain to keep it classic. So I'm just adding them to a baking <laughs> tray now. And then we're just going to line them up and then pop them in the oven to bake. I forget what I baked them at, honestly, but I will leave all that down below. I have it in my notes somewhere. So now that they're baked, I'm just going to add some fresh basil on top. Um, love me some fresh basil. We have some in our garden, so had to add some. And there you go. All right, well, that about wraps up <clears throat> what I eat in a day as a vegan. I hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah, you did, please give it very a much. Up. Comment All down right, down. bro. I mean All right, guys. And this is it. I believe this one takes the cake for the worst day of eating in human history. Applause.
Anyways, this is it. If you like the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.